What's going on guys? This is Chad and welcome to the RC Models and More channel. This is the channel where we talk all things DJI, FPV, models, news, reviews, updates, new drones, all that kind of stuff. I do try to upload stuff on a daily basis, so please consider subscribing. Leave all your comments below in the videos, questions, answers. I like to run a Q&A show once a week that comes out on Mondays. So give me a thumbs up and let's get to the video. I had a comment on my video that I did, one of them on the DJI 4.1 update, um, saying that I didn't cover uh, no fly zones. So I shouldn't be so quick to judge whether the app is bad or DJI's eye, DJI is being bad or or what. Um, but I thought, well, you know, I live in a warning area, so I'll just go ahead and show everybody exactly how things go. So the first thing I need to do is I need to get some GPS signal on this thing. Usually it picks up in here, but it doesn't look like it's picking up enough uh, satellites. Well, it's getting close. So anyhow, the first thing to do to check all of that is go back out and go up here into no fly zone. And after sweeping around for a while, this thing starts you off in the middle of the country. Basically, I can zoom all the way in and I am like right here, like right on the corner of what they consider to be a either a warning zone or an enhanced warning zone green and an authorization zone so i am like right there now in the past when i would go to take off i would always have to do the two-factor authentication which basically when I would hit takeoff, it would want to send me a text message with a code to my phone. I would enter that code in and then it would allow access. As of now, that doesn't happen anymore. All I have to do is click yes and answer the couple questions and assume responsibility and then I'm good to go. So basically, this is what that process looks like right now. As you can see, it says I can't take off. I can't press the button and do an auto takeoff. I have to pull the sticks down and towards each other to start the propellers like you normally would. And then I will get the message to pop up here to go ahead and you see it detects where, what zone I'm in says that I bear full responsibility I have authorization press the button and that's it ready to fly now I'm not sure how this works in red or restricted areas but I'm guessing you might not be able to fly I've had some questions on how long that's supposed to last some people say 24 hours some people say 48 hours I know that it doesn't last uh, neither. I, it will last consecutive battery packs, uh, but you pretty much have to reset that every time. This is just something that got lost, I think, in the hysteria as far as like being restricted and everything else. And it does say that, you know, they will restrict your aircraft if you are in one of those red zones. So I don't know how you would get around that. Um, thank goodness, you know, I am in a yellow zone, but you know, it's a small municipal airport. They rarely fly. It has to be a really beautiful, calm day or evening. So if I see planes in the air or hear them, because, you know, literally they're 150 feet over my house, um, I know they're there. I just don't fly or I just fly my mini quads or something like that around the house here which I rarely go 
higher than 100 to 150 feet with my Mavic or Phantom anyway, uh, unless I'm doing some commercial work. Just for personal use in these YouTube videos, I just don't find any any really necessary. So I hope that's kind of helpful and insightful. Um, let me know if you have any more questions or comments about anything. But I just wanted to demonstrate that uh, for the gentleman and for anybody else that might not have updated yet and are worried about uh, being restricted and living in the same kind of area that I do. See you on the next video.